calling an extension function from Java works, but let's be honest, it looks a little bit clunky here. There's this weird KT thing that we have at the end, which we didn't specify there. Inside of the string extensions file, it just looks like this. We never specified a KT in here. So having KT riddled throughout your code base can be kind of a weird feeling and kind of a code smell. Thankfully, the folks over who developed Kotlin thought of this. And what you can do is actually change the name of the actual file that's generated. And what you can do is add this annotation called file, JVM, name, and provide the name of the file. So here I would want to say string extensions, or I could say string util. So I'm say string extensions. Let's save that, and we go back to where I'm calling it from Java. And then immediately we notice that our previous call into here is not working anymore. So if we were to just type string extensions, now we just see string extensions dot initials. So I can go ahead and fix this by just removing the KT. Now I don't even really know that I'm using Kotlin at all. It's not basically polluting my code base inside of my Java files. Now there may be various reasons why you can't move this to Kotlin. And if that's the case, this might be a very good use to you. Or if you're exposing your extension functions to outside callers in other JVM languages, you may want to go ahead and provide a JVM name so it's nice and you know extensible and readable and doesn't pollute their code as well. Now you can name this anything you want. It doesn't have to be whatever the file name is. If I want this to be happy clown file, you know, happy clown stuff, uh, I'm gonna go over to customer service and we're gonna see that this doesn't work. Uh, I'm gonna have to replace this with happy clown stuff. And so I can give that JVM file name whatever I want. That's what that's going to be. And so that, that wouldn't work anymore. So, of course, we would never want to name something like that, but we can go ahead and take it back to string extensions. We'll save that. Again, that's not going to work. String extensions. So anytime you are working with a you know something like the a Kotlin file that has a lot of top-level functions, which this is a top-level function. It's not inside of a class. It's just basically sitting inside of a file somewhere. It's a top-level function. And you need to expose those to other you know, JVM languages such as Java, and you want it to have a nice pretty name, go ahead and slap the JVM name annotation on there at the top of the file, and that will change the name. So therefore, when you call it from another language, it'll look nice and won't pollute the code.